You're watching a clip from the club podcast. Make sure you follow it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and give it a five star review. So here you go is a lovely clip from our podcast. How do we rebuild Manchester United, Adam McCola? Well, first things first. Um, oh, let's do third things first, shall we? A little bit of a Peter K one. But um, like, we have to sort the takeover situation out. It's very, I think Manchester United, as a business, are running and you go, right, they've probably got X amount to spend this summer. But also, you need to sell a few players, which would top up your transfer budget. But also, you've got the issue that you've got owners at the moment. We don't know what's happening there. Who's going to come in? Who are the new owners going to be? When's that going to happen? If that happened a month ago, maybe we're looking at a much better transfer window. Mm. Maybe when we're going into talks at the moment, it's, listen, we will sign you, but at the moment, we kind of have to wait for someone to, like... That's crazy. So can you just give us a couple of weeks? And it's like, it's the Glazers' one last F you to Man United fans on the way out. Mm. Like, I know we've destroyed all these transfer windows in the past and let Ed Woodward run around like a clown, but now we're just going to, you know, dig one last knife in you. So that's what needs to be sorted first and foremost. But in terms of building, is it a rebuild? Is a continuation? It's a work in progress still from what happened last season. It's a mm. continuation on the work that Eric Ten Hag has been doing. And I think we need a few key players. One of them, clearly a goalkeeper. Um, David De Gea, you know, when this podcast released on Wednesday, we'll have two days left of his contract at Manchester United unless he's signed a new one. So why hasn't a decision been made on that? That is the easiest that one is, going, surely. Is that not just let him go? Is that not the decision being made? What's just letting go? Quietly and not, but then not again, make an actual statement so that he's leaving. What might be happening is Ten Hag's going, right, I'm fed up with the hair. Mm. I'm looking to let him go. Mm. But also, I don't know if I've got enough money for a new goalkeeper. So do we just kind of have to wait? Like... It's a different, I, I don't know what's going, like maybe the takeover is impacting things like that, but the talk is we're linked with Andrea Nana. Yeah. who could be a potentially available for around 40 million pounds plus some add-ons. Nowadays, that's nothing. And I think yeah. given his performances in the Champions League, given his performances for Inter Milan, he's also had a past relationship with Ten Hag at Ajax. Of course, yeah. yeah. But at Ajax, he did make a lot of mistakes. So you're going to go from a goalkeeper who, kept 19 clean sheets, can't really play with his feet out from the back to a goalkeeper that can play out from the back, but you're going to be holding your breath every time he does, which will be yeah. interesting. But we do need a new goalkeeper. That's for sure. Sorry, Henderson's not a shout. I just have to ask that. Why is that not a I'd shout? rather go in with Talented. Henderson than De Gea as our number one. Yeah, yeah. But I think he's one of those players that's going to raise funds for us, 20, 30 million. And if you can get 20 million fun for Henderson and go towards a new goalkeeper... I'd rather do that. Right. But if we've got no other choice, I'd go for it. We need midfielders. Yeah, that's the big one. We Mason need Mount. two midfielders. Yeah. One that looks like Mason Mount kind of can play those attacking roles and all that. And one that looks like a Caicedo type or a Frankie de Jong type. You know, the mm. big money signing that can play six, can play eight, yeah. can be a replacement for Casemiro and also play alongside him. I think we need both of those kind of players. Um, and that's why we're seeing Mason Mount. We've left that 50 plus 5 million. So, what's pounds. the final number? I'm just trying to so get my head around is, it. What's that final offer? Man United have offered, I think the first offer was 40 million or something like that, plus some add ons. They've said, no, we want 75 or something. And I don't know. All right. <laughs> Here's 50 million. F 45 plus 5 million add ons. That's decent, isn't it? I think that's fair. It is fair. Then they've gone, no, we want 65 million. United have gone, all right, here's 50 million plus 5. This is our last offer. We've already agreed terms with Mason Mount, apparently, and he doesn't want a new contract at Chelsea. So Chelsea have come back and said, no, we want 58 million plus 7 million out on 65. And United have said, at the moment, according to reports, nah, the 55 million is still on the table if you want it, but we're going to go elsewhere. And that's why now you're hearing links to Moises Caicedo. Is that because we're going, let's save that money there, sign Mount on a free, and let's chuck that at a different kind of midfielder? Mm. Or... Are we going, Chelsea won't Kaya say though? Let's make mm. him panic a bit. Yeah. Could be that as well. I know this is a very interesting narrative and you've just, you've described it very well. It's very interesting. But I've, 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 all these kind of narratives that you're losing to Man City, right? Every club in this country has lost to Man City. I'm not just saying that in a biased way. The Liverpools of the world, the Arsenals, when you're slow strategically to get the players that you want in, this makes a mount deal. I know it's you're, you're haggling over three, four, five million say, pounds. Whilst we've recorded this podcast, mm. 
We've had breaking news. Okay. I say breaking. Jack sent me it, and the source is Ben Yada Shraf. Ben Yada over. <laughs> and he says, FC Barcelona urgently needs to sell players. You were just saying everything was fine. <laughs> <laughs> you put the jinx on him straight. <laughs> <laughs> and Frankie de Jong's departure cannot be ruled out, especially if a big offer arrives. United haven't um, got the money to be um, able to make it. Don't go there, mate. We did this about a year you ago. You know when that could don't happen? Do it, mate. You know what that could, when that could happen? Yeah. Let's say a new owner comes in and goes, we're going to make a big signing. That's the only time that happens. We, Bro, we ain't just, making that happen. Just let it go, man. You got you got to let her go sometimes, man. Ideal. Delete the delete the number out of WhatsApp. No, unfollow her from Instagram no, and never go there ever again. That's a bit of life experience. At the moment, need to you. I've unfollowed her. <laughs> but I'm looking at her story. Yeah, you're saving her Instagram post. I'm for looking later. at her story and she's <laughs> seen me pop up in her story and she's she's just planting a seed. Yeah. Don't don't follow react back. with the clap emoji. Do follow don't, back. Don't react with the fire emoji. That is the driest chat on Instagram. Yeah, look, I, I honestly cannot go on about Frankie Dion. I think it's the most boring transfer strategy ever. He's a decent no, player. I think it's he's a great not, He's not a generational strategy. player. If he's you want decent, someone. He's decent. If he's it's a meant good to Barca be, player. it will happen. I, I, I do want to go back to Mason Mount. I think it's an important Why argument. Why have we come for Declan Rice? You, you have him. You, you could sign 12 players. You won't win nothing next season. I, don't think, I mean, it's a four-year project for I don't think we United. should be in for Declan Rice. Because the price is going to go nuts, man. Like, unless they want to take McTominay, Maguire and 20 mil. But what I'm trying to say is about Mason Mount, right? I think that's the easiest. Sometimes you just have to go for the easy win, okay? he would be a great sign. I know I know what you've said about the value of him. So he's not worth 75 million pounds with the one-year one contract. I get that. But he's worth 60, 65. If you really want him, and the big, it's not about but you. You can get it for free ten, next season and you can spend 60 mil on a ten midfielder Ten hard four tweet a year for his a key No, but we can get strategy. other targets. Look, at, look at, we just talked about Ilkay Gundogan earlier and... Guardiola wanted Ilkay Gundogan whenever he wanted him. He got him and he was semi-injured. We don't have the same owners as you. Like, yeah, I'm not, we're yeah, waiting for them. That to context come. is important. <laughs> that context is important. But as a, as a footballing institution, it still has to support. You know, you still have to work up to the day that the owners come in. Whenever that is, that could be tomorrow. And people can that could argue be in a year's time. We don't know. How much money the, Glaz the Glazers, I say the Glazers have spent, Manchester United have spent whilst under the Glazers' stewardship. But it's always been spent stupidly and like yeah. United doing like supermarket sweep style dashes around the transfer market on yeah. the final like weeks. That's how it's always been. But then a random Lukaku for Look, 90 last million. season, we wanted um, Adrian Rabio and uh, what was his face? That we played for West Ham. Arnautovic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We lost 4-0 and they went, <laughs> shit, we need Casemiro yeah, and Anthony. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah. The owners are clowns. Maybe Mason Mount goes later in the summer transfer window. Maybe that happens. Yeah, or in January, 30 million. Um, 100%. And we need two midfielders we need a goalkeeper. We need a centre-back. But we'll talk about that later. And we most definitely were crying out. As much as we're crying out for a goalkeeper, we're crying out for a striker. Who is that? Because Harry Kane is fizzled out. and you, I think you know, Harry Kane hard. doesn't want to leave. We spoke about this the other week. Didn't he? he doesn't want to leave no. enough. Um, and until he shows an intent to want to leave, United shouldn't even get involved. <sighs> There's no one out there, There's man. Ossiman too much. He's, man. He's signed, I think he's just signed a new contract. I like Rasmus Hovland, bro. What have you seen Go of him? get him. I just, look, I, I'm not going to say I've watched loads of At Atalanta because I haven't. Although they have been a very good team over recent years. But I've seen a lot of clips of his. And you've al I've also seen how highly raved about he has been. Hmm. And scouts of all these different clubs looking out for him. If he's the next best thing, like, go and get him. Like, the club should have done their due diligence by now. If he's the next best thing, go get him. Why do you have to wait around to find out what Harry Kane wants to do. You should have a, a, a process and a transfer policy that's looking for the next big things. Yeah, so that, that it, go goes in with Harry Kane. We sign Haaland and Alvarez. Do you know what I mean? I think you still need I'll Harry I'll reiterate Kane. again, we haven't got the yeah, same no, moment, yeah, right? but You still have to have the debate that Eric Ten Hag did fantastic. Well, I think he did fantastically no well at points last season. Again, it's not a commentary on what the owners can and can't do, but the club should be running away that Eric Ten Hag can get his transfer targets, Mason Mount, a main striker, and sort the keeper situation out. It's I think embarrassing. Until the takeover situation is settled, only a few bits of business are going to get. Yeah. And, and that's probably relying on money coming in. So, Maguire, please, time's time. Yeah. Got to go. That's, that's another one. What about um, Martial? Martial is another one that could go. But again, you got to sign two strikers then if he goes. I and mean, it only feels like we're going to sign one. If that. Um, then you've got 
Fred, if they link with Fulham, 20 mil. I think he'd be a good signing for them. For he would be. He would be, yeah. Tomine has been linked with move away. Lads, just quickly. Quickly. Get it done. Mm. You know you, what I mean? I'd be worried if I was a Man United fan. I, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not trying to wind I'm you up. I'm not worried about the long-term future under, or the medium or long-term future under Tenard. I'm worried about the short term in terms of the impact that this summer could have on the progress that we're making. Because if we don't get our business done, it's problems. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? 